my time here at Michigan State, I always tried to give him my all. Toss sweep to Javon, left side. Blocked from Deion Curry at the 45, 50. He's at the 40. Javon Ringer on his feet. Inside the 20. He's inside the 10. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. Michigan State was a huge blessing for me. Michigan State has been a huge foundation that I've been able to stand on to, to help me achieve goals that I had set for myself. Michigan State has given me so much. Welcome back to the celebration in East Lansing. Still just can't believe like, yo, my name is up there with the great athletes who have came through this program. Getting the call that I was getting inducted into the Hall of Fame, it was, saying it was shocking, honestly, would be an understatement. I got the call from Alan Haller, our athletic director. So I answered the phone, and hearing him break that news to me about, hey, you know, I just wanted to be the one to call you to let you know that you're being inducted into the, the 2023 Hall of Fame, it, I, I kind of left me speechless. I always try to make sure I keep my emotions in check. It kind of broke me down just because of the sheer shock of that I would be someone to get inducted into the Hall of Fame. I know I had a pretty decent career and I was able to do a lot of things, you know, at Michigan State and for Michigan State, but to that level of being inducted into the, you know, the Athletic Hall of Fame, is still a little unbelievable to me. Hey, hey, we're not done yet, hey, don't get you pushed, y'all. We still got a long time. Playing in the woodshed was, this was my battleground, like, and this was my home. Show them how the Big Ten do it, man. I know they're the number one deepest for a reason, but we about to put that to the test today. So I had a dope play. It was against Michigan. When I kind of, I caught a toss going to the left, and I ended up reversing field to the right. Second down and four. Here's a toss. Ringer trying to get outside. They won't let, whoops, he's still on his feet. Now he's coming back the other way. He gets a few blocks, and this could be something. Ringer at the 30. Got a block. Ringer down the sideline. One man to beat. One blocker with it. Ringer. Six yard line. But I ain't scored. I got I got caught. Like, you know, uh, Sean Crable, he ended up catching me. And that's honestly been a, still a regret. I, I get a lot of compliments on that play. Like, yo, it was a dope play. But hey, yo, man, you got to finish. I didn't finish. Like, I loved our fans. Our fans were always dope. Not even my time spent in the NFL doesn't compare to what to what it was like playing here at Michigan State. Left, quick toss, short side right to Javon on his feet at the 25, on his feet at the 30. His feet breaks out of a tackle, spins away midfield. He's at the 40, the 35, the 30. Javon's at the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. He's into the end zone. The handoff to Javon, off right guard. Squirts in for the score. Touchdown, MSU. Performing out there on that field, battling out there on that field with my boys and, and in front of our fans. And, Nothing really truly compares to that. It was a true blessing and an honor for me to be able to play out there. Yeah, you ready? We are ready. First and foremost, I humbly want to thank God so, so much for how he has blessed me tremendously, tremendously throughout my entire career, throughout my entire life. Coach D, I love you so much, man. I thank you so much for the impact that you've had on my life. I thank you so much for the memories that you have given me throughout my entire college career. And just thank you, man. This is I never truly thought that I deserved this. I never thought that I did enough, or I thought if maybe I had a chance to get in, inducted into the, the Michigan State Hall of Fame, I would be like 50, 60 years old. Oh, that's the that's the to be able to get in right now, to be able to share this moment with you all, my family, and really my daughter. Lena, I love you. I'm truly blessed. God is good. And as always, go green.